Looks like we're live here for our live feed. Hello everybody, Eric from Live Aquaria. Welcome to our Coral Farm and Aquatic Life Facility. This is our second episode of Live Feed where we are gonna feed the fish live. So like every good fish keeper, we've got our condiment dispensers full of Hikari Mysis and brine shrimp. And I've got my towel on my shoulder because you always gotta clean up your mess. So uh, first fish we're gonna feed up here, we've got a real nice looking flag fin angel. This guy is just under three inches long. He might be a little camera shy. So the area we're in today, we are in the saltwater section of Diver's Den. And all the fish you see here are on the website for sale. And if you should happen to go to the website and look for a fish you saw on here and don't see it, maybe somebody beat you to it. So yeah, and he might be a little camera shy. And I know these were fed a little earlier today, so. We will see what happens with him. But it's a beautiful fish. So his neighbor next door, we've got a Kylinus fasciatus for all you rasp people out there. Looks like he's in the pipe five by five. <laughs> Anybody know the reference to that movie? One of the best ones ever. Aliens. <laughs> Is he coming out? No. Nope. Yeah, no, not interesting. Okay, so far everybody's putting us to sleep. About the blue line trigger. I don't think he likes you, Ian. No. Or your camera. No, I think it's my shirt today. I wore a plaid. <laughs> These guys are so used to seeing the nice black shirts we have, and I just, I don't know, the plaid's throwing them off. Ian's dressed like a lumberjack. They're seeing plaid today, and they're not liking it. Yeah, see, now the flag falls in, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Dark is helmet. Dark well, helmet. Let's see what this uh, lemon peel's doing down below. So again, all the fish you're seeing here, these are all on the Diver's Den website, which means they have been through our quarantine process, they have been acclimated, they've been in our main fish, fish system for a while, and now they're up for sale. So at minimum, they've been here usually two, three weeks. There he's eating. There we got some takers. Mysis shrimp here. So again, we're, we feed a lot of hikari in the facility, especially mysis shrimp. Mysis shrimp is great for marine fish and small to medium sized cichlids because it's got a lot of amino acids in it, uh, which help promote growth and uh, strengthen up the immune system. And like all hikari food, this stuff feeds nice and clean. It really, really does. Hikari is a food I have been feeding for 30 some years. Let's take a look at the, uh, the angel next door. We've got a Red Sea Aster angel here. So again, live feeds are new for us. It's just something to show all you viewers at home. Um, today we're gonna stick primarily in the saltwater section, but we're gonna jump around from week to week. So we'll do saltwater one week, fresh the next, and yeah. try to get the in-betweens in there as well. And we're really looking at for it, uh, kind of at our weeks here, trying to figure out like, hey, what kind of cool stuff we got coming down the pike, and uh, absolutely, and uh, you know, sort of figuring it out from there too. So it's always kind of a always kind of a surprise too what we come up with. Yeah, it doesn't really seem too hungry, but oh, there he goes. Yeah, again, we, we have already fed these fish multiple times during the day. We do feed very heavy here in uh, the coral farm and aquatic life facility. And uh, we do a lot of cleaning and maintenance as well. So th this place is typically run like a farm. So we do a lot of feeding, a lot of cleaning, and shining things up. Everybody here works very hard. They put in some long hours. Okay, what else we got? All right, let's see what we got down below. We've got a nice little Fiji orange spot file fish. I know we've got some captive red gobies in there. I think there's a blue bunch of dart fish in the tubes. There we go, we got a little white spotted file fish. For anybody beginning or, or getting into saltwater, file fish are great, hardy little fish to have in your aquarium. All right, let's see what the neighbors are doing here. 
So we've got we've got some scissor tail dart fish in here. We've got a, a pair of black snowflake clownfish. They're maroons. It's another pygmy file fish in here. We've also got a wrasse down in the lower coral corner. Right next door here. Got a nice regal angel in here. Got some file fish as well. Got some watchman gobies. Look at this tiny little file fish. Oh wow, yeah. Beautiful. So yeah, talking about camouflage, you can latch right onto that artificial coral. Just blend right in. We got over here. We've got more blennies in here. We've got canary and reticulated blennies. We've got Camora blennies. We've got a pair of gladiator clowns in there. So up top here, Ian, we've got a we've got a beautiful powder blue tang. This thing is just under six inches long. And this has uh, just been on the website a day or two. So typically, these gorgeous tangs like this will sell over a weekend. Doesn't take long. Kelvin, our uh, behind the scenes help here, is trying to take a look at the trigger. Right here. Yeah, it's a nice blue line trigger. So again, it's uh, it's our it's our second live feed. You've got the trifecta of power here. Myself, Eric. We've got Ian on the camera. Mr. Kelvin Fujikawa answering questions. We do. Uh, we got a clown tank. We'll get to it in just a second here. And before we do, today is Friday, February 9th. And for all of you out there, we need to wish our director, Mr. Kevin Cohen, a very happy birthday. So as you check in from wherever you are in the States or around the world, say hi to Kevin Cohen and wish him a happy birthday. So happy birthday, Kevin. I hope you're blushing right now. <laughs> we got a cool little undulated trigger down here. Actually, he's not that little. Oh, yeah. For any of you with uh, that like aggressive fish only tanks, there's a great fish. He'll live a long time for you. We've got a juvenile blue face over here. Let's see if we can get him to come out. <laughs> They're saying, get away from me. <laughs> Who's the guy with the camera? I'm trying to combat the glare for you guys. Hold on, there you go. All right, Ian, down here, we've got an armada of Rainford's gobies. There's also some clownfish in there too. We've got some gold nugget maroon clownfish. And a lot of our clowns, which are captive bred, uh, this pair in particular is captive bred. We try to sell a lot of our clowns by the pair.
So yeah, let's show everybody at home what we've got here. So we've got our industrial strength size protein skimmer. This thing is at least seven feet tall. Uh, next to it, we've got our, our fluidized sand filter. We get all sorts of biological and mechanical filtration here. And then we've got over 700 watts of UV sterilization going on here. I wish I knew what the contact time on this, uh, contact time on this was, but I don't. I'm, I'm sure it's more than enough. And then uh, we've got temperature control, more filtration here. So, and this is just for one of our systems. This is just this system enclosed here in this room. So, uh, down here, got a nice little red porous grass there, just in probably one of many phases to come. He'll grow a few more inches yet. I know this is one of my favorite fish way back when, when I was first getting into marine aquariums. It's beautiful. Back when we had dolomite. And if anybody remembers <laughs> what dolomite was, trying to do a water change and get a gravel vacuum to push through dolomite was just <laughs> horrendous. <laughs> Made a lot of noise, scared the fish. Dolomite had sharp edges. Man, it had come a long way with substrate. And that was back in the day when uh, Lee's made the air-driven protein skimmer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Put the wooden air stone. Come on down here. So we've got ornate wrasse in here. We've got four-eyed butterfish. We've got some leer-tail anthias. We had a good question from Joseph. How many gallons does, that, does the system hold? Well, Joseph, you stumped me. Uh, I'm gonna guess that this is probably probably close to 2,000 gallons for this system here. This is one of the smaller systems. Um, and if any of you viewers at home can see this, these PVC tubes, these work great. We, we keep the decor in here to a minimum because we don't want it attracting pathogens or housing parasites or any unwanted pests. So, we do take the, the decor out every day and uh, we sterilize it, put new stuff back in there and it just offers structure and shelter to the fish, make them feel secure. Got a nice little rabbit face, or I'm sorry, fox face, get my fish mixed up here. <laughs> there is a rabbit fish in there too. All right, Ian. So we've got some damselfish, we've got a naso tang, purple tang. We got one of my all time favorites. We've got a nice little hawkfish down here. I love hawkfish because they're always perching. Without a swim bladder, they sink the minute they stop kicking. Uh, Maria is asking about the food. We did go over a, a second ago, but why don't, we, uh, why don't we remind everybody that just joined us the food we're using. Sure, Maria, we, uh, we feed a lot of frozen food here, and in particular, we feed. We feed a ton of hikari, uh, smaller fish, obviously, like brine so shrimp. So, no, so, no. so we've got yeah. brine shrimp here, and again, these are just condiment dispensers for any of you breeders or people who have a ton of fish at home. This is a great way to disperse food quickly and rapidly. Uh, Mysis shrimp is awesome, and again, what's great about hikari is their foods are all from the BioPure line, so they go through a three-step sterilization process, uh, the, so you don't have to worry about pathogens or bacteria. They gut load the brine shrimp, the mysis, so if they're fortified, it's encapsulated with vitamins, and it's great. Like I said, brine shrimp, you can feed salt, fresh water. The mysis shrimp, we feed a ton of this in salt water, and it's also great for smaller cichlids. And uh, obviously with the bigger fish, we feed krill, and we do feed silver sides as well. So basically, we, we just thawed out in a big thing of water. We pour off the water, put it in these containers, and. Fire at will. <laughs> and like I said before, it, it feeds very clean. We're very happy with it. Yeah. And with it being frozen, it's convenient. You just pull it out and break off what you need. It's excellent, excellent food. So let's uh, let's go around here. Around to the other side, coming around for a 709er. <laughs> get to the corner here. So here we've got some clownfish. Like I said before, we sell a lot of captive bred clowns, and we try to sell them in pairs as well. So let's just get everybody something to eat here. So Ian, what you're looking at there, you've got some midnight clownfish. Those are beautiful. Yeah. So again, everybody at home, all of these fish are, are on the Diver's Den website. 
And these are captive bred. This is one of my favorite angels, the centri uh, favorite Centripigi angel, uh, the African flameback. They're, they're active, they got a lot of color. And they're not too big. They're great for smaller aquariums. I don't think anybody in back got their food yet. So again, for everybody at home, you can see how, how clean this food feeds. You know, you, you, you don't get all those pollutants in the water when yeah. it's dirtying up your tank. Super clean. So in here we've got a uh, black ice clownfish. Next door in bat, we've got long fin ocellaris. Some people like them, some people hate them. I like them. I, I think like them. They're different. They've yeah. got some good color on top too. They're pretty vibrant. Yeah, it is It is Hikari food, Travis, um, but specifically we would go over the food uh, Hikari selection again. Uh, Travis, what I'm feeding here, we've got brine shrimp and mysis shrimp. That's what we're feeding today. And then for the larger fish, we do feed uh, Hikari krill. Yeah. And for all our moray eels, we'll chop up silver sides and feed them that as well. Oh. But Hikari is definitely a staple here in the coral farm. All right. So right here in back band of two, we've got a real nice, some Paracylinus uh, carpenter's wrasse. Over here in back, we've got a McCoskers. Just getting everybody fed. Yeah, feeding time. Yep. So we got some black. Hey, you bet, Travis. I'm sorry to cut in. No, no worries. You're got welcome, a nice Travis. pair of black Ocellaris clownfish here. Yeah. And then next door, we've got uh, more black snowflake, snowflake clowns, and we've got some black eyes snowflake clowns. And I think it's just amazing what these, these captive breeders have been able to do with clownfish over the years. It's just incredible. Picasso Percula. Gladiator. So again, a fan of the gladiators did, uh, did everybody out there wish Mr. Kevin Cohen, our director, a happy birthday? Let's send him yeah. a lot of love. Another, yeah, another quick one. Go to our Facebook page and or on this post and just say happy birthday to him. You received, uh, Emily, you received your blue hamlet and blue tang today. All right, awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for your support, Emily. Hey, we got a nice little flame angel here. It's great. He's not much bigger than a quarter. So this guy comes in, he's just under two inches. He's an inch and three quarters long. All right, we got a big starry Blenny back here. Any Blenny fans out there? Then we got a nice Woodhead's Angel next door. And Joseph, you received a Ritter Eye, a Two Blood Shrimp, and a Sunrise Dotty Bag. Awesome. Nice. I love the Dotty Bags. They are just an intelligent little troublemaker of a fish. <laughs> and I'm sure he knows. Probably one of the last fish you want to put in. But they're great. They're active and they're so inquisitive. And Ritter Eye anemones are beautiful. And thanks again for uh, for everyone's patronage for your business. We really appreciate it. Eating already, awesome. That's what we like to hear. Oh, thanks, Travis, for the love, man. That's awesome. Thanks, Travis. That's awesome. We can use love up here when it's cold in the Northwest. The, Let me the, tell you, yeah. The temperatures have been more harsher than, than body counts. All love is lost. <laughs> if anybody's heard that song, it's a brutal one. That's what the temperature's like up here right now. This guy. <laughs> this guy. 
Yeah, I, lo I love music, so there's a lot of musical references. That's awesome. And of course, movies. Ian, let's show them the flux capacitor. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is our flux capacitor. Flux in. No, it's not. It's our, it's our controls for our UV sterilizer. I like to call it our flux yeah. capacitor. It's fluxing. It is indeed. So I think that's going to wrap it up for today. Let's see if we can get this RAS to come out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Any clown triggers coming soon? Yeah, we, yeah. we've got a big one over in QT, and uh, maybe we can try and show him next week. Oh, somebody wanted to see a clown tank. Let me, unless it went out today, I thought we had one on the other side. All right. I'll continue to give you guys the goods here while Eric fix it, figures that one out. Yeah, the clown tank went out. So ah, bummer. Somebody bought them. And uh, Matt has a good question. How often do we get grouper? Um, we, we, we try to stick with... We carry more of the oddball groupers, uh, the ones you don't see as often. They're available, but if there's something in particular you're looking for, sometimes we get mini Otis in. We had a Red Sea grouper a while back. He commanded a hefty price. I think it was like $2,000, but he was gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So if there's a grouper you would like us to special order or if you're interested in, oh, yeah. um, do we not have an email, Kelvin, for requests for certain fish? Yeah. It's on the website. Yeah. We got okay. a special section on the website. Um, of course, you know, you can always drop us a line on Facebook, too. And Absolutely. I'll catch that link. Okay. Oh, cool. Thanks, yeah, Calvin. Calvin will attach the link later on after we're done. So we'll repost this video later and you should be able to see that. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So again, thanks everybody for joining us. We wrapping uh, up? Yeah, we're wrapping up. It's uh, Friday up here in Wisconsin, so what that means is fish fry, a couple beers, maybe an old fashioned. <laughs> if you're from the region, you know what an old fashioned is. It's a great drink. If you've never had one and you come to Wisconsin, because they only make them good here, ask for a whiskey or brandy old fashioned. It's just, it's a part of our culture here in Wisconsin, along with fish fries and talking like we're from Wisconsin. It's Wisconsin. But I know how to say Oregon. Oregon. All right. <laughs> so everybody, thank you so much. Yeah. Until next time, feed, siphon, repeat, and hopefully we'll be back doing this again in a week. Yeah, we'll see you guys next week. All right, take care.